Love it. Welcome back to the shop. In today's video, we're going to be doing a full handle replacement on a US Forest Service FSS fire tool. We'll start by removing the old handle that is secured with steel rivets here and here. If the handle's tight and won't come off, put some heat onto the socket. That will expand the metal and help you to slip it off. While that socket's cooling down, we can prep our handle. Now this is an official FSS 46 inch fire tool handle of US American Hickory. Unfortunately, they slathered it with varnish. Now tool handles should never have varnish on them. They should be raw wood treated with boiled linseed oil. So let's scrape this all down and prep it for the riveting. This is a radius spoke shave. This is the best way that I've found to remove varnish from round handles. But anything will work. You can use a knife, anything that will scrape. We are ready to fit the handle to the socket. Now it's rare that the handle is actually going to fit perfectly. Sometimes they do, but what you're looking for is just insert it in there, kind of mark it with your thumb and see, just make sure you're well inside the second rivet. Now to really get a tight bond between the wood and the steel, uh, we can heat this and this will expand the metal a little bit and then we'll drive the handle in and set the rivets. Drive it down. That looks quite good. Our handle is well seated. Now we're ready to drill out for our rivets. Let's take a look at our rivets and we'll get those prepped. Unlike a construction shovel, a fire tool is going to have a, a double rivet. So we'll check and see what size. So we got a 2.2135. So we want to get a drill bit that's at or just a little bit smaller. We got a 2.21. Yeah, same size. When you're drilling these, come <laughs> don't take me long to look at something. When you're drilling these, uh, come in from both sides. Now we're ready to peen the rivets. A ball peen hammer has a flat surface and a round surface. The round surface is designed to give that rounded head. And that's what, where you get that ball peen. Perfect for peening rivets. With the handle installed, now we're ready to file or reprofile the spade. Uh, you'll notice that, well, all fire tools will have sheaths. Uh, reason being is that uh, we keep our tools very sharp, sharpen them multiple times a day, and it's highly likely you'd be, you might need the, to, to get into an aircraft uh, for evacuation or maybe your hell attack and you don't want to have anything sharp or unsheathed uh, in an aircraft. This fire tool was used pretty heavy last year. It needs a reprofiled here. You can see it's lacking the point. When you're filing these, you want a chisel file, meaning you want an angle on one side and flat on the other. So you always start by flattening the back. Do this with a 12 inch mill bastard file and you're just gonna hold it flat and you're just gonna knock off. You just want a nice filed edge. With the back flattened, we'll reestablish this point. Now, I want a good firm connection with the vise, and so I'll remove the soft jaws so it holds it very firm because I need to put some pressure on this. That looks good. Next up, we'll treat the raw wood handle. Now, anything that you have, any tools that you have with a wooden handle, you need to treat it an at least annually with boiled linseed oil. What, what boiled linseed oil does is that, you know, wood is, unlike plastic, 
that's stable. You know, it's, wood is always changing and moving. You know, with as the atmosphere changes, as the uh, got a little carried away there, as the humidity changes, and boiled linseed oil, it it nourishes that. It puts those uh, those oils that are leached out of the wood from use, sunlight, and keeps it uh, keeps the wood preserved, prevents it from cracking. With the handle treated, we'll put some uh, protective oil on the spade itself. I like to use ballastol, anything that will inhibit or prevent rust. And that's about it. This tool is ready for service and in good working order. A fire tool to a wildland firefighter is as important as a rifle is to a soldier. You're not going to be very effective to your team uh, if your tool is broken or is not in, in good repair. Having a tool that's sharp makes your work a lot easier. You should have a 12 inch mill bastard file at the ready. You should sharpen these regularly. If you're working in rocks or a hard environment, it's not gonna be uncommon to have to sharpen these things multiple times a day. I've even seen fire these shovels worn out from filing uh, in just a matter of a couple seasons from guys that actually keep them sharp. And that's about all there is to it. So that's how you replace a handle and put an FSS fire tool back in service.